thanks for taking the time. Uh, NCAA championships, one of the best finishes ever for your team as a team. Uh, give me your reaction. I feel good. It was a good competition for us, uh, second best uh, in the fencing history at Air Force. So can't complain, but also I always will ask for more. We could have ha done always better. As if it's not the first, you always can say it could have gone better. But as of right now, I'm very happy with where we stand, the progress that we've done. Um, last year we finished 16, so that was a good jump for us. It shows the progress and the growth that we have. So very, very pleased with the result. Fantastic finishing 11th this year. Let's talk of uh, Josie and Matt, their last time at the NCAA Championships. Josie's so close again to getting an All-American. Just talk about those two as seniors. Yeah, uh, for uh, Matt, it was uh, it was hard. There was a, a lot of close bouts, and uh, he was focused. He was fighting very, very hard. It's not a new thing for Matt. This is his fourth time, so I was watching him. He was managing well. But we struggled a little bit in few bouts that deprived us from the title. And uh, he fought hard. I saw, I saw how he put everything he has. He fought passionately uh, for the team and for Air Force. But unfortunately, that's a sport. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And then for Josie, personally, it was a heartbreaking uh, results for me because she's one spot away from making All-American. And not only that, last year she had the 13th place again. So seeing that happening twice, again, taught us a lot, a lot of growth. Definitely when, when we see that situation, we know that person belongs there and should be an All-American. But we felt that's just, just short. So again, I'm, I'm very, very happy with her performance. She managed very, very well. She was all locked in and the field was tough. So I'm, um, I'm very pleased with the results again. Ned and uh, the three freshmen will hopefully get an opportunity to go back to the NCAAs. I, I'm assuming you want to build on this. You want to finish higher than 11th. You want to take maybe even some more fencers. Does this experience, even though it was only six fencers that went, does it help the rest of your team get excited about getting better? Absolutely. Uh, again, the so four fencers, Ned and uh, the three freshmen, Jack, Melissa, and Mira, is the first showing for them. When we sat before the competition and talked, we had that conversation and I told them, this is a new thing. This is a completely different format that you will see and be in. So just be prepared. It's not going to be exactly like the collegiate meet we've been through the past few months. So the way it works, it's uh, a round robin. Top 24 fencers in the, co uh, in the country qualify to that event. And then each fencer fence 23 match against each other. And as I say, it's it's a bloodbath. There are Olympians there. There are world-class athletes, um, international athletes, all the above. So it was a very unique experience for our cadets. Definitely tough and hard, but that's how we learn and how we, uh, we grow. I'm hoping and expecting that these uh, uh, freshmen and Ned, hopefully to repeat that uh, accomplishment and qualify again next uh, next year. But then they are carrying the experience. They know exactly what they are coming upon. So I look forward to see the growth from here. You got one more event in about maybe three weeks from now. The All Academies right here. Army and Navy come in. Uh, tell me a little bit about how that works and what you want to see from that event. Very exciting. So we're fencing uh, Army and Navy. They will come to us this year. We do a rotation. And th that tournament happened once a year. So this year they will be coming to us, competing against us. And... Um, uh, we're ready for it and we're excited because that's a, a fun event to have and to build that uh, competition between the three service academy. So I'm looking forward to that and can't wait to see what our cadets will do in that event. And then uh, additionally, we're also doing our team banquet. So we're, we want to invite our uh, alums and our parents to come and support our team and enjoy that uh, beautiful event. All right. Omar, thank you very much for the time. And um, maybe we'll talk after that event as well. Thanks. Thank you, Brian. Go Falcon.